Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to customize the look of widgets using a drawable XML file and for this I will create a new project. So let's start with a new project called custom 2 and then mic.com.custom this will be the package name com.mycom.custom now inside this project I will add all the widgets for this I need to change the background or I need to use the shape.xml file as background and for doing that first I will change the orientation of this outermost linear layout to vertical and then let this hello world be there I will add other widgets which I need to customize like a button and an edit text and I will also add a text field sorry a view like large text now let's create shape.xml file for creating shape.xml file we have to click on view files and then inside the project navigate to resource folder and inside this click on any of these drawable so I will be going to drawable HDPI and inside this click on add new XML file for XML file name it as shape.xml now go back to main.xml just copy this part XML NS Android HTTP schemas.android.com slash apk slash resource slash android so copy this now go back to shape.xml now inside this the first in the first line write shape or start this block shape and for this write xmlns or just paste the code which we just copied which I just copied so this is xmlns android schemas.android.com slash apk slash resource slash android now in next line just write the type of shape so for this we have to write android shape equal to rectangle okay this will shape and now after this close this shape now inside this shape we have to define the padding stroke and color of the shape so for defining the color just write solid and for defining its color write android color equal to and then close this solid now write some color in it like hash double e double zero df now save this you can remove this line if you are getting errors
okay now after creating solid for the shape now we will create stroke so for this write stroke and then write android width equal to 2 dp and in next line write android color equal to hash double zero e zero ff and then close this stroke my next line write padding and then write android bottom equal to 8 dp now copy this part called padding bottom and then in next line paste the same thing and go to next line so just as we created padding for bottom we have to create padding for top right left so first we are going to write left then right and then top now after this close padding and in next line write the radius for writing corner radius you have to write corner and then android radius equal to a good radius will be 20 dp you can increase or decrease this as per requirement and then close this so here our shape.xml is ready it has a solid color or solid background color of pink a stroke color of blue and stroke width 2 dp padding 8 dp and corner radius 20 dp now for applying this to our widgets we have to go back to main.xml and here in main.xml go to all the view or widget to which you want to apply it then click on background then drawable and select shape now here i want to apply it to all these widgets so here do the same thing for all the widgets to which you want to apply it click on background drawable and select add drawable slash shape Here it shows at slash shape because shape.xml is name of the XML file in which we created the shape. So now I have applied it to all these four widgets. Let's check the app now. So here you can see it has been applied to all the four widgets. The only thing missing is rounded corners. This was not applied because we did some mistake in applying it. So we go back to shape.xml and here write corners and now again run the project. So now you can see the corners are rounded by 20 dp and the solid color is pink the stroke color is blue and corner radius is 20 dp so i hope this was useful for you thank you very much for watching this video